<laughs> okay, I agree. Right, I focus on just you now, water bottles. So let's see what you're doing. So you know this is a high hand map. You got some hunt. There you go. That really sucks with the lure. Never cast it so quickly. Uh, always wait until you find your first hunt so you know where your villagers are gonna go. Uh, cast the lure close to the villagers so that they don't have to walk a lot. It doesn't work on the close hunt, but see? Now you're taking one zebra away. Let's just resign this one and restart. Okay, so next time be more patient with that lore. Uh, find the first hunt. The lore actually doesn't work if the animals are super close, okay? So it doesn't affect the super close villagers. But, uh, so super close hunt. But if it's far enough, like it was here, then it will draw them away. So yeah, you want to have it close to the first hunt. Ideally close to the TC as well. You can just put it right on your TC, and then the hunt will go to your TC, which means you don't have to walk with your villagers. Is it worth now to fight water in Sacred Pond? Yes, absolutely. Play like Mediterranean. So one villager immediately goes to water, and just make a granary. Yes, that's perfect. And make a granary here. And um, go until four villagers on food, actually. This wood guy should go to food. There you go. And make sure to put down your dock as soon as possible. There's your fish. There you go. Um, do I go now for the trees around my TC? Or? Yes, you have four on food. One is idle though, fix that. And now you go for your trees and not for the TC ones. Uh, put a storehouse next to the closest wood line. Okay, you're starting your fish. That's good. And this villager just comes back to wood. Okay, just keep making uh, the guys on wood. And when you made your se second uh, fishing ship, turned off your turn off your auto queue, so don't make the third ship. Also, the f ship isn't working. There you go. Okay, you want to make your house. Don't get housed. You don't need to put it to the tower next time. Uh, save some walking. Cool, one more villager on wood is okay, but you don't need it. You can just send the rest to the food. And restart your fish. Uh. Yeah, next time we can do that faster. Yep, temple is fine. Very nice with your new villagers. See, they're not walking now. They're so much quicker with getting to the food. OK, 
keep it up. Second house, very good. Nice, you didn't get blocked. Uh. Good job. Okay, stop the ships. Yeah. There's no more. So, just make a second dock. And at 400 food advance. That's it. You did good. Oh yeah, see, uh, that advance could have been a bit faster. So if you just force drop your villagers and then uh, grab Ares, that's better. Now, put the guys on gold, but only like six of them. No more, no need for seven. It's enough if only one builds a storehouse, by the way. It's faster that way, because everyone else is gathering then. It will finish in time. Right, you should move one of the gold guys because it will be imbalanced. So one from gold to wood. Yep, and you can get hand axe. Cool, we can also get that faster next time. Make your f ships, double spam, very good. I think the Pestilence could cover all three, actually. Ah, uh, I didn't notice the third one. Oh, you didn't make houses. Anyway, it's good that you're sending your Cyclops, also make your heroes. Ah, see, you could have sh uh, nearly six ships by now, if we don't make the house mistake. Yeah. Uh, don't put so much on gold, you don't need that, you need wood. Ships are very wood heavy uh, and you make houses, so... Careful with the docks, you just want to fight the ships, not the docks. Don't let them shoot at you. You should keep the hero close to your base because uh, the Sphinx will be running around to hurt you. That's it, pull back your ships. Don't forget your houses. And now you can make some guys on gold. Your TC is idle. Ah, uh, I didn't execute it. Yep. Very good. Yep, don't let that Sphinx hurt you. It doesn't belong here. Okay, so you find found his villagers with your Cyclops. That's great, you can kill one instantly. Careful with the ships. Very good. Fix your idols, yep. And make houses.
Okay, good. Keep out spamming him. A lot of his ships are low. Focus the low ones. Very good. See, that was totally pro. Good job. Keep that Cyclops working. Oh shit. Yeah, don't chase him, don't chase him. He has way too much. You wanna back off. Yeah, you can make some new storehouses for your wood guys. They're very inefficient right now. I think you need to abandon water, he has way too much. Um, yeah, stop making ships, grab a TC. You're not gonna win this. Just defend your fishing spots. Send more than three, send like five villagers. You're picking the correct TC, it will give you a gold mine. Also, make some walls to make sure that you can keep that TC. Okay. Um, you can grab pickaxe, it's pretty cheap. Dude, got it. And more, more storehouses. Don't lose the ships. They can buy you time still. Cool, start the food economy on land. Uh, you are really needed for the second TC. So you can take off some of the wood guys back to food. You have some hunt. Yep, that's also good to put down the farms. But you have some berry bushes. So it wasn't necessary yet. But you can just roll with the combo, right? You can just make more villagers and put them on the berries. Okay, so the other TC is done. Don't get wood there, you have enough. Um, you should get more food, there's some hunt around here. There's a lot of boars actually to your right. Should I grab the forward or so? Yeah, the forward is less safe, so you want to grab that first. You know he's making spears, so don't actually commit too hard to hippicons. Make some archers as well. Make sure to grab your plow, you did, great. Uh,
Yep, you really need some units. Even one or two Hippocons is fine, just don't make too many because he already is ahead. You can get your Hippolyta, also you can send your idols to food. And then start making an armory. Oh, you have it, you have it, yep, great. Definitely need that gold mine, so get, get your heroes and they'll help you clean this up. Remember to make villagers after. You also have a ton of idols and uh, some bad pathing on the on the wood guys at your second TC. Cool, if you gather gold for a moment, you should be able to go to the heroic age soon. You have a cool army now, so you can uh, take out these raiders here and actually go to the hunt. Um. Yeah, you see these wood guys at the second TC, not very necessary. Uh, they can just go to the hunt and your army can keep it safe now, so why not? Because I think you're missing a house. Oh no, you sent your Hippocons away. <laughs> yeah, the archers, they need some tanking, so that's not gonna work. See, they weren't gonna do any damage in your base. It, it was just a tower, who cares? Also, make your Hippolyta and then try to get your third TC. That's an Hippolyta. Uh, it's your archer here. Tough life now.
Careful, the archers are uh, shooting at the building. Never do that. Nice. You might be actually able to push this. All the Miffianists should go to the Migdal. With the archers, take out the Pharaoh and the villagers. Oh shit. Make the rest of your heroes. <laughs> no worries, you had some early game structure now, so that was a massive improvement. Yeah. <laughs> My problem All right, really not bad. I'm... So, something for you to learn is the archaic age build because i had to uh kind of tell you what to do during that are you taking notes yes okay so definitely learn the archaic age build um for basically every map there's no going around it you can make some notes and uh have a cheat sheet next to you while you're playing but there's really no avoiding that you need to advance at the correct time, you need to get the first three houses correctly, otherwise it will snowball very, very quickly, like in the ship fights. You should have had way more ships when Narvi started making ships. So these early fights should be easily won if the ISIS advances so late. And you should be able to, as a result, you know, because you win, you can just stop the ships earlier. And then you can take the TCs earlier, then you can take the map, and then you're safe from this Ancestors Eclipse stuff and the first few Migdals. So yeah, uh, get the build right, write it down, um, look at it while you play, and you'll just eventually learn it. That was the big thing. Now the second uh, thing is you keep making counter units. Which is fine in the case of Hyperspists versus uh, the Spearmen, that was great. But if you start making Peltast, if you start making Prodromos, it has to have a very, very good reason. Mm. Uh, why did you make Peltast here? Because I saw some Slingers standing there. Yeah, uh, Peltast doesn't count as Slinger. Uh, it usually won't even reach them. Because if you want to go into their range, uh, so that the Patas can shoot, you'll get hit by melee units. So your micro has to be sick for that to work, okay? Uh, I would say never make them, except maybe if your trade is getting raided by chariots and you have an archer range, then okay, make some, make some Peltas. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you're just not going to be good enough to manage them. I'm not good enough to manage them. Most people aren't. I don't think anyone is, to be honest with you to make the Paltas work as a unit. Um, Hyperspist was okay, but once the Spearmen are gone, just cut it. Don't make any more. Uh, even Hoplites don't make sense in this scenario very much. You got Hippicons, they're very cheap with Poseidon, so make use of that. 
Uh, the Cyclops are a nice touch, actually. What else can you fix? Look at the farms in your main. Uh, they're everywhere, all over the place. <laughs> Almost none of them touch the TC. So you could accomplish with probably... Uh, let me count. You got 24 farms, 25 farms. I'm pretty sure you could get the same efficiency from 20 farms as you did here, if you just place them very nicely. Mm. Okay, so you could put some at your second TC as well as your main. You just spread them out and make your building so that there's room. Just get way more efficient. And yeah, there were some idle villagers, so look for idols always. Do you use hotkeys? No, I would like to, but I don't know where I can set them. In options. Uh, so let's just quit out here. Uh, and go to options and click edit hotkeys. Yeah. Yep. And then you only play Greek, right? Yeah, mostly. All right. So let's go to the settlement unit training. Uh, I've got my my Greek heroes on ASDF. It's just so easy to remember. Because they're all in a row, so the keyboard hotkeys are also in a row. I'm reading there the ages from 1 up to 4. The right category. Uh, <laughs> settlement unit training, right? Yeah. Yeah. So age one hero, age two hero, etc. So age one hero should be like A, then age two should be S, then D and F. Yes. Yeah. It just makes it so quick to make all the heroes when you uh, jump between TCs and tap the hotkey. And your villager can stay on V, I think that's fine because it's close to H which everyone spams. The rest are not that important for you unless you want to change the town bell hotkey. Dock. Fishing ship on F, I guess it's fine. You only turn and turn off auto queue. Have you got the archer ship hotkey? I think that's the most important one. No. Uh, I just have it on A again. Should be the default. Uh, but but let's go through your buildings on, on land. I think that's probably way more important because you have way more of those. So have you got... Open up the Greek Academy unit training. What are your hotkeys right now? Um, P, W... Oh yeah, that's the default uh, bullcrap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you could go for... Hoplite should be like... W and hyperspace should be E and then multiple hoplites can be shift uh, W and multiple hyperspace can be shift E then you have just super quick access to these again and let's say you want to make a mixture of hoplites and hyperspace then all you gotta do is press W E and Q for auto key. Have you got an auto key hotkey? Where can I fix this? Auto key uh, is different. You can't set it in the options. I'd have to send you a file, but that's fine. Yeah, so basically make it so that all these hotkeys make sense. Just go through all these options. Mm -hmm. uh, do you use control groups? Hello? Nope, I'm not using... Not using control groups, control okay. At all. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know how to use them, right? So, how do you know how to assign a control group? No. Okay, all you gotta do is um, 
select some units and then press control one or whatever number you want to set it to. It works from one to nine. So it's collecting, for example, only military units or citizens? Uh, no, uh, whatever you selected. Ah, okay. Yeah, so you can put them in different groups and then you can uh, simply press one and you select your units again, wherever you are. And you can double tap one and go, grow go to group one with the camera. Mm -hmm. okay. Stuff like that. So that's super useful. That's how people jump around the map so quickly. Yeah, that saves a lot of time. Yeah. Okay, so the notes for you are um, learn the builds, fix little inefficiencies like uh, idle villagers, and uh, start using hotkeys and control groups. Just gradually build up, but make a setup that works for you. Find out what hotkeys are comfortable. It's different for everybody, but I generally like to lay them out as the units show up in the buildings. Yeah. All right. right. So that's everything. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no worries. And see you in the stream. Yeah. Bye, man. Bye-bye.